This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is The Wraith. There's a monster in my podcast. Yep. Undead. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I love that even, even at this late stage in the game, at, like at the at the ecology section, they're just admitting it. The wraith has no proper niche, serving no exactly. useful purpose in nature, <laughs> and providing no byproducts that, that others can use. Killing only for sheer hatred of life. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> they're they're, they're pretty up, they're pretty upfront with it. They're real bad in every right thing too, because all their big thing is like level drain. Right. Like there's a, like and, and level drain sucks so bad. Like yep. we talked about level drain sucking before, but the illustration isn't cool. No. <laughs> Who is this like Iron Maiden looking like <laughs> cover like rah. like he's all super buff, but then he's got these huge hips before his body turns into smoke. Yeah. And stuff. And he's got this red skeleton face. Like this is a shitty drawing. Yeah. Well, he's, um, he's got the red skeleton face, but he also has a face. He also has a Beetlejuice hair. Like he has yeah. super dorky hair. Yeah, like this uh, high school science teacher turned. <laughs> level draining nuisance yeah turn half um, half cloud level draining nuisance there's like there's a part the other thing that's just like everything wrong with the shitty undead in this book which like i love the undead it hurts me to not like them in this book right but like how it does cold damage mm -hmm. but then it says it does 1d6 cold damage even to creatures immune to cold why right. yeah why it, like it, it should it, heal it's, them <laughs> yeah it's it's like you know adventurers aren't going to get that if some adventure manages to become immune to cold like why you want to fuck them over like this yeah you know, like let them have that little advantage. This thing that's gonna fucking literally undo their work. <laughs> like it's gonna, it's gonna steal. Level drain is a mechanic that takes your real life, like drains your life. Yeah, it takes at your the time. Table. Yeah, like yeah, like like it, it, like it is a meta punishment. Yes, it kills the human. <laughs> you know, like you could be <laughs> this kills with, the human. <laughs> this kills the human. <laughs> Special abilities on a on a twenty kill human. <laughs> the, like so, imagine like you you have you know, you have a finite number of hours of life. Mm -hmm. We all do. We're all gonna die. Wait, if, what? Oh, guys, Cole, sit down, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you never had a pet. Yeah, um, <laughs> you, like, if you have, like, so many number of hours and, like, it's a good D&D &D session takes three or four hours, right. like, it is possible that because of the actions of this D&D &D monster, right. like, you will be robbed of experiences because of the way this thing was designed. Right. Like, you as the human player. That mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah. Well, at, at that point, I would be angry at the DM. Um, instead of being angry at the person who wrote this, like, yeah, as a DM, why did you a decide to use this monster and b uh, decide to like make that stick? Yeah. Well, it always sticks. Like, there's rules for getting rid of it. You know, yeah. the restoration spell. It's just this weird way to make clerics more useful. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and it's like clerics are already useful. Yeah, you know, good berries, man. Um, the uh, so the huge huge bummer. You know, just the idea that like if you, literally if you die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> A true. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a good game. Yeah, I, I like any any uh, invocation of if you die in the game, you die. In real it's life. it's my favorite mechanic. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we're good. Okay. <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at Patreon.com/slash DuckFeedTV.